Hey guys, what's up? I'm gonna do a trick for you today, and it's what's called an interactive trick. An interactive trick it was popularized in the 1980s by David Copperfield, who was the greatest magician of all time until I started doing magic. Anyway, uh, he'd have tricks on there, like they'd have, um, you know, you they'd have numbers on the TV and you follow along. Well, they were designed to for you to follow along on your TV. Here, I'm gonna have you follow along on your laptop and I put this trick together for a special group of people people that I've been wanting to partake in a tr I've had I've had tr excuse me people that have been getting on my nerves for a while my YouTube haters they sit there and they run their mouths and I deal with these people at live shows too but at least at live shows I get them up there I do a trick they can't figure it out and then they shut the hell up with YouTube haters so they don't have I can't do that to them. Till now. We're going to do a trick where they can sit on their, sit on their laptop. And I'm sure they're wearing nothing but their boxer shorts in their parents' basement. And they can follow along with the trick. And, the, and hopefully this will stop some of them running their mouths because they like to, um, let's see, they like to run their mouths and say that I'm gay. Yeah, ask your mom how gay I was last night. Um, let's see, what else do they say? They say, um, oh, they say, this is the good one. They say, I can figure out how it's done if you watch it at .25 speed. Gee, you figured out a trick by hitting the slow motion thing. Yeah, I used to do that on a VCR back in the 1980s when I was about six. So, congratulations. You're about as smart as an adult as I was at a, as a little kid. Look, they can sit there and run their mouths or say what they want about my magic abilities or my crappy camera recording on here and everything. But the fact of the matter is I've banked more tens than any of them ever have. And as Cat Williams once said, if you don't have haters, you're not doing something right. So, we're going to do... They're going to partake in a trick, and this is designed to do many things. First off, you'll notice, like my penis, the cards are exceptionally large. This is to prevent palming. Obviously, the cards are bigger than my hand, so there's no way I could possibly palm the thing off, because I know they're going to say that. Secondly, the, there's no moves that are like .25 speed bustable like they like to do, so that's not going to help either, so... Oh, and re-watching it, yeah. Doubt that'll help either, but hopefully they'll watch it just one time and try to figure it out watching it just one time. And don't just say he's using sleight of hand or he's using a special prop or anything like that. No, tell me how it's done or shut the fuck up. Anyway, having said that, I said it, it's an interactive card trick. You can take your finger and put it on the backs of any of these cards. The idea of this game is it's going to be a game a four card Monty. The idea is you find the one different card. Obviously, we can see where that's at. Anyway, since I know my YouTube haters are at a disadvantage, I mean, not as far as the trick, but I mean, as far as like intellectually, physically, emotionally, and life in general, I've made the colors of the, all the cards on the backs here different. That way, it's easier for you to follow along where the card's at. So, having said that, I'm going to shuffle it up, and we'll go ahead and spread the cards here. I want to make sure here that you can all put your finger anywhere. I don't want someone saying, well, my screen was so small you had to force it. So anyway, where's the card at? It's right here behind the yellow one. I mean, I showed you that earlier. I mean, you know, I mean, it's a yellow back card. I mean, you know. Anyway. Okay, seriously though, we'll try again this time. And this time I know you're under pressure. You're thinking, this is magic, there's some angle to it. But you're also stuck with the fact that I've shown you the Ace of Clubs under the yellow twice now, so if you pick a different one and you, I turn this over and it's an Ace of Clubs, you're gonna feel like a dumbass. My advice to you is to go ahead and take the risk that it's in fact under a different card. All right. <laughs> I know four is a higher number than most of my YouTube haters know, so we're going to just do this next part three card Monty style. We'll get rid of the green here. And the rest of the cards, uh, oh yeah, by the way, the, the red one, sorry. And we'll shuffle the cards up once again, and once again I'll just show you. 
Where is the ace of clubs? Is it? It doesn't matter which of these three you go with because it's none of them. Actually, it's right here. So, yeah, sorry. Okay, okay. I know that wasn't very nice of me. So, we'll go ahead and do this again. I'll, I'll leave this face up. Really. There we go. We'll set that card down here. Mem Remember, it's, all it is is three card Monty. Just find the different card. Let's keep shuffling. And go ahead and spread it. Where is it? I know you're like, duh. No, really, you didn't hear me. I said the idea was to find the different card. This is not the different card. This is the different card. Look, turn these over <clears throat> here. You can see they're all different. Boom goes the dynamite. Anyway, I got some horror movie, crappy horror movies to watch tonight, so later, bitches, suck it.